The date was May 10th, 2017. I casually went through my Steam Discovery queue, looking for fun and new games to play. I hadn't thought I'd find this. Honestly, it seemed more like it found me. The Nonary Games, better known as Zero Escape. Three games to the title, but I only knew one, the first, 999, also known as The Game I Never Beat. At risk of spoiling, all I can say is I went through the game multiple times over. Way more than the expected six times. I went through it so frequently, I had the answers to each puzzle memorized. Went through what I thought was all the dialogue. But still, I was unable to beat it. So I abandoned the game, with the hollow promise of looking up a walkthrough to eventually finish it. Weeks went by, months, years. Each time I saw the cartridge, I thought, walk through, and then moved on. Until then. Then it sat in front of me, on my Steam wish list, brandishing its soon-to-come release date. Familiar faces brought back nostalgic, bittersweet happiness. New faces gave me an eager, excited sense of despair. I knew what to expect. At the same time, I didn't. I thought, should I play it? When it comes out, should I do a let's play of it? My mind screamed at me to wait for the walkthrough. There's nothing wrong with waiting to find a walkthrough and finishing it on your own terms. But my heart knew better. I've been avoiding this game for far too long. As they warred against each other, I came to a silent conclusion. I'm going to play it. I don't need to wait for a walkthrough. Because now, I am the walkthrough. I mean, I'm a pretty shitty walkthrough, but this is gonna be a fun game. Let's go. Creating save, please. First one. Yes, please. Ooh, let's get this started. This game is fiction! Sorry to break it to you guys. Two modes, novel and adventure, you can switch in and out. This is so weird, seeing this on my computer instead of my Nintendo. Did they, like, remaster this? Because the animations are a lot smoother than they were for my Nintendo. Like, on the Nintendo, it was just a picture of a boat. Now it's moving and shit. That's really cool. A loud noise startled Junpei awake, and his eyes snapped open. What? what? Oh, there are voices! Oh my god! That's beautiful! And that saves my voice a little. As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't recognize now. his surroundings. With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. What? Whoa! His balance lost, and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down to the cold gray floor. Ouch! God damn it! <laughs> ah, what the hell? Best voice actor, 10 out of 10. A bed? Mm hmm. Ah, that fell pretty far. Ah, that really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake. But it, it's shaking too fast for that. It's a mega earthquake. Uh, anyway. Where am I? Wait, it, it stopped? What's that sound? What could it be? It's not that. Or that. That's... The door. Five? Mm-hmm. What's this five mean? Ooh, Junpei. Ah, it won't open. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Hey! 
Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door. <sighs> huh? What the hell is this? A watch? It doesn't look like one. Oh, you kidding? Yes, it does. Five. That's... that's the same as the door. What? How do I take this off? Trick question. You don't. Maybe pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. Mm. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. You tried. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Whoa. Ah, ah, my head. Just wait until you look in the mirror, buddy. Huh. This is... Hold on. Am I on a ship? Took you long enough. Ah, I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? Whoop. What the... Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I like the exasperated what the hell is laughter. Going on here? What the hell? God damn it! Hey! Anyone? Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something. It's it's not stopping. Mm -mm. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. Buddy, breathe. Just breathe. Need to find a way out and fast. Don't worry, I can help you there. How many times have I gone through this puzzle? At least eight, I can assure you. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. 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 I was wondering what was going on. That was the uh, view. Mm-hmm. Q or E? That's weird, but okay. Let's see. Q, E. Ooh, I like that. And I can click. Gimme. No, no! I know it's a bulletin board, and I know there's a note on it. Nice. I think that's the way. Mm -hmm. This is much different on a computer than it was my Nintendo. I can click V. Okay. Sweet. Oh, right. I need the... Blah, blah, blah. No, not A. That's weird, though. Stop it! Get out of there! Bye. In. Well, let's see if there's anything in here. Ha! Looks like there is. A conspicuous key. Yeah, there's a little blue key in the bottom of it. Good, I need that. No, I know there's nothing in there. I took it out. Okay, I got that. Which means I need the mirror. And let's get some more backstory. I should probably hold on to this key. Huh. Baby. Oh, what's up with my face? I look like a zombie. You're just tired, that's Damn, all. Damn, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... And... Ooh, you got real close to the mic for a second there. It was very intimate. I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. And why do you say that? Uh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze. You say that like it's a bad huh, thing. That, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. Wink wonk. What? What? Who are... <laughs> oh, do I get to hear the voice of Zero? I want to hear I, it. Come on. I... Can't. Don't hold out on me like this. Consider this a You have been chosen. Woo! You are going to participate in the game. It's not what I expected. Oh, these voices.
voices. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. Mm-hmm. When I get my hands on him, well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Just who was that? They said, you have been chosen. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. Ooh, Echo. The memory game. No Nary. Where you will put your life on the line. The nonary game. Huh. Mm -hmm. What the hell is a nonary game? God, God damn it! Calm down, calm down, buddy. Okay, I've got multiple keys, but I'm missing... Was it up here? Poor excuse for bed. No, it was under a pillow. I don't care. I know you're gonna die and it's not gonna be here. Not if I can help it. Alright, sweet. Memo from the bed. So, I think these things go left to right, right? Okay. Where's the screwdriver? There's also a screwdriver. So I can get... Mm? Is it up there? No. Nope. How about... Nope. Is there anything else I can use? Calm down. I know there's a blue briefcase. There should be like some sort of... Oh no, do I have to... Search it. I know there's screws, which means I need a driver. No, nope, not you. I'm looking, I'm looking. The music doesn't help each time I listened to this. It was, uh Nothing? Nope. Hmm. This music just makes my heart pound. It's like, no, thank you. Oh, is it? Wait, no, hold on. Was I being dumb? Is it under? There you go. Take it. Good. Alright, uh... There we go. Okay. First, let's do red. Wait. Okay, so that would be... 7-4... Eight, five, okay. Blah, 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 blah. I know, combining items. I'm a genius. Seven, four, eight, five. Where was, oh, closet. I know there's a lock. Uh, don't give me that. Okay, let's stick the key in there and let's do some code. Uh, I know. There we go. It's opening, and we get cards. Fantastic. Those will be useful. And now, onto the blue case. Fantastic. Let's see if these numbers work, and of course they do. Let's open it up! Yes, the book. Most important. Documents are important. Digital roots are important. They're like the entire basis of this game. Compute a digital root with the following steps. First, add all the numbers in question to one another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. For instance, if you have a double digit number, add the number in the tens place to the number in the ones place. Keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single digit answer. That final single digit is your digital root. Example, the digital root of 678 would be 6 plus 7 plus 8, which is 21, 2 plus 1 is 3. Therefore, the digital root of 678 is 3. The digital root of 1, 2, 3, 4 would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10, was 1, 0, it's 1. Digital root is 1. You see, it's very bizarre math until you get a single digit number. Something on the back, a notebook, a pen, a calculator, and a stack of key cards, blue. 
Fantastic. Let's combine them with these. No? Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself then. New material has been added to the file screen. Cool. Calculator. Use the arrows to open the calculator so you can calculate a digital root. Alright. Here we go. So what I need to do is using these key cards, I need to get the digital root of 5 because that's the number on the door. No, you can't just slide them in willy-nilly. It's not working. Why? It's swearing. All the swearing, Junpei. I still have cards I haven't used. Mm -mm. Not again. You gotta be thinking, buddy. Of course, the files. Something about a digital root, digital root, the digital root. You're supposed to find the digital root of the five on the door. Yep. I, I don't mean to be like trying to rush through this first part so quickly. It's just the music. Ah, uh, brings back memories of panic. Click three cards. The digital root of the selected cards will be displayed. Resetting will deselect all the currently selected cards. You gotta do three cards to get the digital root. So let's try six. Seven and one. Yes? Gimme. Fantastic. Alright, this is gonna work. There you go. Yes, it just unlocked. Go, baby, go! Go! No, please, no time to think about it. No, wait, that's me. I gotta go. Yay! I found it! I went through the first heart clenching. No! Ah, baby! Ah. Ow! Ah, my head! Hmm. Wait, is it. is it over? It is. Ooh. I'm so proud of you. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. <laughs> well, looks like it too. Better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a hallway? Oh. A door. Another door. And it doesn't have a number or a lock. Damn this water. Ugh. Let me go. Oh, yes. It opened. What? What the hell? Nice, though. This is the inside of a ship? Well, yep. Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Wait, what the hell? Mm. A wave? Yep. Oh shit! Shit! Okay, I I gotta get out of here. C <sighs> <Sea> deck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't don't overexert yourself, please. B deck. Mm-hmm. Hurry! Hurry! A deck's next. Whoa! What? People! People! Two times A the lot people. Of people. Um. Mmm. This is awkward. Wait, did I say awkward? I meant this is the best time to end this video. So, mmm. Starting nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. I'm excited to hopefully finish this game because each time I pick it up on my Nintendo, I can't finish it. Maybe playing it on the PC has that little magic touch I need to finish it. And then, of course, once I do finish this, I'm going to be doing the other two games of the Zero Escape series. So, this was the first episode of 999. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys for the next video.